Today I'm talking about letting go and trusting your team completely. No micromanaging allowed. Micromanagement. It's a word that can instill fear in the hearts of team members everywhere. When leaders micromanage, they're not only stifling creativity and innovation, but they're also creating a toxic work environment and that can lead to burnout, turnover and a whole lot of frustration. But why do leaders fall into that trap? Well, managers often struggle to balance oversight and autonomy in their teams. On one hand, they need to ensure that projects are completed on time and to a high standard. But on the other hand, they need to give their team members the freedom to take ownership and make decisions. It's a really delicate balance and it's one that requires a great deal of trust and communication. One of the biggest challenges that managers face is knowing when to step in and when to step back. So when team members are struggling, it can be tempting to jump in and take control and just do it yourself. But that can be really detrimental to their growth and their development. It's also important to recognize that managers are often under a lot of pressure to deliver results. And that pressure can lead to them feeling like they need to control every single aspect of a project. However, that approach can also be incredibly demotivating for team members. They might begin to feel like they're not trusted or they're not valued. And another challenge that managers face is dealing with the fear of failure. If something goes wrong, they're the ones who will be held accountable and that fear can actually lead them into micromanaging. And that's their way to attempt to minimize the risk. But what if you are somebody who's naturally more hands-on? Maybe you're a perfectionist or you've had bad experiences with your team members not pu pulling their weight in the past. So whatever the reason is, it's essential to recognize that micromanaging isn't just bad for your team. But it's also bad for you. It can lead to your burnout, to your stress, and a sense of isolation yourself. So let's peel back the layers of micromanagement because we often find that it's rooted in fear. Fear of failure, fear of loss and control, and fear of not being good enough. It can be driven by a lack of trust in our team members or a lack of faith in our own ability to lead. Sometimes it's even driven by a desire to be seen as the smartest person in the room or the hero who saves the day. So whatever the root cause is, it's essential to recognize micromanaging isn't just hurting our teams, but it's also holding us back as leaders. One example of micromanagement is when a manager constantly checks in on their team members, asking for a minute by minute update on their progress. Another example is when managers take over a task that's been assigned to somebody else just because they think they can do it better. In extreme cases, Micromanagement can actually involve rewriting team members' work or dictating exactly how they should be doing their job. So what is the simple trick that can transform your management style and empower your team to thrive? Well, it's this. Give your team members the autonomy to make decisions and then get out of their way. Give them the freedom to take ownership of their own projects and to make their mistakes. Because... When we give our team members the autonomy to make decisions, we're actually showing them that we trust them, that we value them, and we actually show them that we believe in their abilities. And that, my friends, is incredibly empowering. When we trust our team members, they begin to feel more confident, they begin to feel more motivated, and then they become more engaged. They start to take ownership of their own projects, and they begin to drive the results. As leaders, that means we get to take a step back. We can focus on the bigger picture and we can enjoy the sense of pride and fulfillment that actually comes from leading a high-performing team. So we've explored the negative impact of micromanagement, the challenges of advancing oversight and autonomy, and the root causes of that leadership trap. We also discussed the simple trick that can transform your management style and empower your team to thrive. I really hope you have found this video helpful and I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Have you ever struggled with micromanagement from your manager or have you found a way to overcome it? Please let me know in the comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss a thing and then check out my other videos for more tips on leadership and personal growth. And me, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.